It's still ridiculous going on all the time over and over again. These low lives with no IQ. I mean, my God, I went down and had lunch with my one friend today and um, I had all these people follow me. So I start playing my videos and then I start rambling. <clears throat> I said, you do realize between March 1st and March 15th, it should be there in, of 2019 in Will's legally fucked house for the protective life case that I'm, I'm sitting on the back deck in the evening and Dave, someone calls Dave on the phone. What's going on? It's a real life case of how to get away with murder. That's what's going on. Well, I go down um, by Marietta. There's a town uh, on exit called Lowell. There's a gas station. I pull in, bikers pull in. The police found the tape of them telling Dave that uh, um, it's a real life case of how to get away with murder. And um, no, the people that were following or harassing her, nobody finds any of this funny. Okay, so I go down and I have lunch with my friend and I go to come back and they're starting to follow and harass me again. So I start rambling about everything about even when the police knew I was innocent where Dave was acting crazy. January 25th, 2019, 8, 30, 10, 30 at night. He was acting crazy and all the police were at the end of the road. Well, while I'm crying in my room, one of them shows up. The police always knew she was innocent and innocent before. They were talking about it at the station. Some guy was bailing his guy out from a team and said, if she's innocent, I'll pay a fine or bail. And said, no, the police already knew she was innocent and innocent before. And somebody else did something wrong before. And they would never want to arrest her. Well, they framed me. They admitted they framed me. They admitted it that they never talked to me. They drugged me and told me to say stuff. They read it out. Dave, the church people, the boys in the courthouse, and some weird man in Burlington Coat Factory, February 2nd, 22, by noon, by the clothing aisle with a girl. Um, this is common knowledge. They sold the login to the police investigation, well created, internal to the police, not knowing that there was a retired judge's daughter involved which uh, <clears throat> on the way back I'm rambling how it's not a miss we'll go through the laws of the Department of Justice um, and uh, the different police departments back me too and, um, and that it's not a miss of a lie pull back in that same gas station some girls pull in and laugh and said with everything going on nothing they have is admissible it's finally got funny that's what the Maslin police said. November 24th, 21, <clears throat> 40 in the morning. Um, and Maslin, uh, stat care, an officer come in uniform. It's finally got funny after everything they did to her. <clears throat> Nothing's admissible. And I'm here to watch her. There's a Steve and Eric stalking her. And we don't know who they are yet. Well, they had already told Ed at the Oakland apartment, December maintenance man, December 9, 21, 4 p.m., that all the tapes before were them, not me, and that it was just a group of men doing crimes down here. Well, he told investigators and the camp police and the man that he works with, uh, December 9, 21, also at the Stark County Hunger Task Force, one of my bodyguards from the case of White Man Ball with Dark Eyes, came out and only tape and audio in there. We always knew the tapes before with them, not her. Um, so we never said a word. By January 3rd of 22, there's investigators in there. Uh, we talked to that guy. He knew they did all this to her and didn't say a word. And it's some guy named Eric. And we don't know who they are yet, who he is yet. They're wanted by the police. Um, you cannot get a court order. It's the fake paperwork to make it look official. They talk about They've laid out their plot and told everybody what they're going to do, and then they do it to me. It's a murder group. It's a domestic terrorist group. Um, you can't be in your home, anybody's home except for the threat of life case. Department of Justice, um, who do you report police or agencies for being in your home? It's uh, Department of Justice, ICE, FBI, and local police department to arrest them. It's a legal search and seizure Fourth Amendment. Um, and... Uh, 
Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life failure to notify of the threat of life before initiating and speaking to the other person in that home is abuse and misconduct and failure to protect is abuse and misconduct. Then it goes into the right of privacy, illegal search and seizure. Okay. That's why Officer Reinhardt Louisville, when I started telling him about the shower scene in the other room and the drug confessions before, he told me, he started giggling like a little girl. He said, don't you worry about a little thing. We could never look or listen. It'd be illegal to look or listen until we'll agree to protect you. Uh, and took your statement. Nobody could be in your home. It's illegal to be in somebody's home and it's illegal to look or listen, no matter what. It is. And then a heavy side cop a few days later showed up and uh, talked to Dave. Uh, he made a public statement at the food counter. I asked Dave about those people threatening her and he better not put his hands on her until I find out what's going on. He didn't know that guy went to pay her either. He wouldn't have talked to Dave. I think Will uh, underestimated the um, situation and he didn't bother to look into it. Somebody said he did little with the case and left it on his desk. Now, oh my gosh, somebody was yelling the weird with yourself thing. I am so tired of that. Uh, it was their permanent plan to do away with me. They put a shower scene in the other room. Uh, yesterday at Baba's, some guys have been following me and sat on the um, <clears throat> outside um, patio area, yelled at across the parking lot. We told those boys, we heard them admit to putting a shower scene in the other room. We told them none of this is funny. No, it's not. And then when I went in sheets by about 1230 on Wimple, there's men ordering food and they look over and we told those boys we knew they raped her and that none of this is funny. No, it's not funny. None of this is funny. They have fake FBI badges. They FBI didn't know anything about it. Um, <clears throat> uh, they found all the kids lying in 2018, carrying around the house state case. That's what the police in uniform call it. Uh, even the Ravenna police told the North Canton Jackson police in June of 19 on Liberty Health Share, the worst thing I ever did wrong, honey, is bend over and properly we can wipe that out. Because they caught Melissa changing that from the back of my knees to my tushy nine years ago in saying I wore a nightgown I didn't own. And I had Dave verify I always wear this one nightgown with underwear and a house coat and or leggings and a sweater and a house coat. Um, so it just, she's a document, a liar. She made up like seven lies. They're documenting me games of pretend. My whole family was interviewed. They spoke highly of me. Um, and I don't, they even admitted they framed me. They told March 2nd to the 3rd, 21, um, they were, uh, what was it, 8, 30, 10, 30, and I, my car tapes from the protective light case that they were going to put two clips together, put me in a porn. It wasn't me. It was them. Um, and then March 24th, 22, two apartment buildings for me, one, one thirty. everybody, cause these people sold the login. Um, the guy admitted to framing me and some guys out there screaming at him and everybody heard I went to several different places. We all heard that bastard admit to framing her. Well, they also heard that they never uh, talked to me. They only used drugs on me. Nobody drugs anybody except for terrorist groups. Um, and rapes them and publicly humiliates them. That's not the law. If the law has a problem with you, they come knock on the door with your Miranda marks. Uh, you don't have to talk to them. If they have enough evidence, they'll subpoena you to a prosecutor with an attorney. If you can't afford them, one will be appointed to you. Still don't have to talk to them. You can, it will get subpoenaed to a trial if they got enough evidence. And then, um, uh, found guilty or innocent. None of that ever happened. No one even spoke to me. Uh, one of the officers up there looked at me and said, trust me, we're never interested in you. Mm -mm. Why would you? With the investigation, everybody's following everybody around, and they all caught everybody lying. It was what November seventh or eighth of twenty one. They all let out in West House. They found all those kids lying in twenty eighteen. Yes, they did. They're documenting me here. So they're doing. The only thing came out. Well, they they play with their victim. 
<clears throat> they tell you what they're going to do. Like, you can't be the single woman by yourself. We can't ever see what happened up there. Then you'll be raped and tortured. Um, then the, they said, remember the truth or try to implant lies. They'll try to steal everything you have in life. The agents are so corrupt, they'll try to steal a settlement. That's this. Then what comes next is for when they find you alone, that's when they'll take care of you. They have a field picked out south of Ravenna to cut up your face and stab you to death. Um, they tell you what they're going to do and then they wait and then it happens. It's, they make fun of me for being their victim. Some African American lady bought the login not too long ago and she came up to me and said, I listened to Karen today. I called the police and told them they better do something about this. They need to. It's not the FBI doing this. Uh, even the Freemasons, because they got fake badges thought it was FBI hurt me. It's not. Everybody fell for it. It's a couple of the corrupt undercover officers, retired Judge P. He doesn't even have authority. He's retired. Uh, you can't work a case for friends and family like Reinhardt said. That whole county couldn't work a case against you. It'd be thrown out for a conflict of interest and they never addressed it with me. Like they said, we were never interested in you. This is just the terrorist group. Like they said in Save a Lot, April 14th. It's sick. It's only the people hurting her the whole time. The fake sodium pentothal reports where they stab me with needles. Um, where they break, they photoshopped a shower scene. Um, they drugged me and told me to say stuff before and I never talked to anybody. They read out Dave, the church people, the boys in the courthouse and that weird man. And I had bruises on me, large ones. And they were abusing me under drugs. This was so planned out for where they knew that I called FBI and hadn't called him back, having that guy pretend he was FBI at Pamers for that stunt. And so Dave could confront me in the truck for I called well back and then dragged me up so I could only remember the water shooting guy. Instead of they could have got the guy that tried to kidnap me, tried to carjack me and threatened to knife me was at Huntington Bank and he could have got him right away. I don't remember the other guy. And if you wouldn't have asked for a witness, I wouldn't have remembered that I had already asked Sarah to talk to him. Um, extreme call, extreme terrorist. Um, I do need someone to help. I'm not for sure what happened to Will. Will promised me a life of peace as an informant. Nothing legally stated, dated against you again and only for you and only for you will we do this for. Always put it back to the traffic ticket even when you tell. And I have a count set up for when you move out. Um, and if it gets too bad, I'll pull you out. He left me up there to die. Well, how worthless in its common knowledge. And these people think it's funny killing people. They announced in Tater's office um, last Thursday we could go Thursday, they're going to start processing more people like this. It's not the law. They need to be scared to death of these people. Children in town call them bastards for framing me. Children are smarter in this town than adults participating in this. I almost died to save my family. Lived through a concentration camp of being stabbed with needles on a regular basis where I could get away from it. Raped and tortured, including with a dirty undercover officer, a stalker, no fat white man, they put that video online too for other people to see. Um, they have no shame. They don't think anybody will stop them. They make fun of the local FBI like a mentors. That is too much for them. They had to leave. Uh, they framed the FBI. They got fake badges. Uh, Altman Hospital, March 13, 21, 2.53 p.m. in the emergency room. They come in with fake badges uh, blaming the FBI for the chip. Um, and then even the doctor. So, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not funny. I can tell people where to pull the evidence. Even the sheriffs could do it because it's just criminals. And it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here. That's it. Like they told that. And I guess the security guard that used to work the case that was working at the hunger task force when he was telling Ed by my car that they said they always knew it's just a bunch of men doing crimes here. They didn't have a legal right in my home. There's no court order for an attorney. The police laugh at the situation. Um, then you don't have to worry about somebody framing you and drugging you and telling you to say something. And you never talk to anybody. You just wake up with bruises.
and get sick on symptoms. I weighed 212 to 217 October 1st of 18 and weighed 150 pounds by February 24th. I lost 62 to 67 pounds up there because I couldn't even keep saliva down because I was being drugged so much. That and almost being shot driving gunshot and I stalkers. Um, it was horrifying on ungodly levels. Here I'm screaming. They think it's funny killing people. It'll be funny when they turn on them. Because they're probably already in their shower heads, in their air vents, they won't know. And where they woke up with a little bruise on their arm or leg, they won't and know what happened. Or if they got dizzy one day and had to lay down after they ate or drank something, they probably have a fake sodium pentothal report. Welcome to my world. Amnesia drugs aren't funny. They even told them all, I'll, I'll never remember. And they have people harass me. Day and night. It's horrible. And they think it's funny killing people for an occult and a terrorist group. I was already found innocent in 18 and 19 through the state case. Uh, the officers in uniform call it Karen around the house. And one of them said, what's that? One of us have to listen or watch her every day. They have to witness. It's not over there and caught the guys. Anybody can help me. You can't ask somebody to remain quiet when somebody's already pretended the FBI. The guys are so organized that they have someone pretend before you call that agent back and then drug you up so you can't remember. Those are bitch moves. Intelligent bitch moves. But bitch moves. And they're, it's Will's fault. 100% Will's fault. Because as a federal investigator, occults are evil. They're willing to leave threats in the mall. And some weirdo shows up and starts saying stuff to you. Even though you can't remember enough to tell him about the carjack, attempted carjacking, attempted kidnapping, that he threatened you to knife you and a uh, giant eagle. He had to get away from him. Um, <clears throat> he could have got the other guy. And that Dave was part of the attempted break-in before, and the police already had him for that. Um, I left all that horror off, but the what a shame guy. A cults are evil. If they'll threaten your life and have someone show up, drugging you is not beyond them. He should have looked into everything himself instead of underplayed. And I was already told on him. And he should have found out on his own. Me being greatly victimized on ungodly levels. Uh, and leaving me up there to die. There's no excuse. And there was no staying quiet. Because if they wouldn't have drugged me up. I would have said hey well you know some guy told on me. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Even the Freemasons in Ravenna thought it was FBI hurting me. Like they said in Save a Lot. April 14th. That's really sick. None of this has been the FBI. It's just been the people hurting her the whole time. And... You know, the police in Ravenna with a uniform is high, sweetie. Never a word. Prosecutor's office when I report a day. Not a word. Sheriff's, not a word. I don't think a lot of them knew. And if not, if they did know, they're acting stupid so they don't get prosecuted. Because you can't be part of an extortion drug group, rape and torture. And pretending you're federal agents. Some of the dirty undercover officers for the retired judge mm -hmm, were uh, involved. The dark gray truck, white, six foot stocky, um, six foot stocky, shaved head, dark eyes, drove the dark gray truck is the rapist and then the two undercover officers that were African American with dreadlocks were part of it too um 
So they need uh, to take care of this. I'll tell you what, the police in uniform is high speed. I, and like Reinhardt said, that county couldn't work a case against you. Your whole life would be thrown out for conflict of interest for friends and family. With it being the judge's daughter. Even though he's retired and has no authority. His friends and family. They would have had to call the FBI. The FBI would have had to address something with me. I was in the office a few months ago. We all know she never hurt anybody. Everybody knows that. It's documented. And like they told Shine last month, people were in there. We can't look or listen to these people's tapes. We want their involvement in this. And they told the hairdresser they already knew everything was photoshopped. It is. January of this year, um, Circle K gas station by 6th Street. I'm using the bathroom first thing in the morning. Um, some lady's outside. She's like, I can verify in my group. She's never said she did anything wrong before. We make a big mistake being a girl. And she was the second level toxic water leak. There's like four levels. Where you, Mercy Medical, the only thing that they had on you was adjusting yourself. I'm like, what? She's like, you just simply wiped off water with clothes on. That's it. I said, that's it. She's like, no, it's funny. She just simply wipes them off. Well, she wasn't the only one that said that. Right in in town, April 1st and May 10th, you didn't expose yourself. You're good. And one guy's like, you have to shut down the nation for that. That's stupid. And then I'm in Marks, and a whole group of them laughing. We know what they try to say. That one right? They're laughing at it. <clears throat> well, where they said they were going to put two clips together and put me in a porn. It's not her, it's them. And they break where everybody could hear they were going to Photoshop. Then they start saying stuff that didn't happen. I think one's supposed to be weird, one's supposed to be exposing weird. And I'm like, God, I haven't made my stomach bleed for four days. I almost died to see my family and they did something shitty like that to me. And then it's like somebody else's body. A simple app on Facebook, you can start whole face, click it, and then put on somebody's body. Somebody else's body, right? And then I'm like, only time I touch myself like that is showering. I go outside, now my car's still legally parked, and these people sold it. After I said, <laughs> only time I touch myself like that is showering, I walk outside, she figured out what they did. Well, that's one of the things they yelled at Bubba, so we heard those boys admit to putting a shower scene. In that room, we told them none of it was funny. Yesterday, at Bubba's around noon. They were out on the patio screaming at me. Uh huh. Went into sheets on the wall. By uh, 12 30. Men are in there ordering. We already told those boys. We knew they raped her. And none of this is funny. This is public knowledge. And the reason the law is not doing its job, I'd like to know why. Hmm? Hmm? I'd like to know why. Because all the kids were caught lying in 2018 mass. Let please I'll verify. Everything's me and games to pretend for the house wasn't meant for grandma. It was meant for Auntie Shaw and Papa. And grandma needs to get out. And then they made up a whole bunch of and to Flora. My other granddaughter were making everything up. They're mean games to pretend. Documented. Thanksgiving of 18. <clears throat> and it's not funny. They photoshopped a shower scene. That guy even admitted he framed me. And even outside, my other client, Paul's, or not Paul's, but Ron, um, next door neighbor, we all heard that bastard admit to framing her. They all have. Just like we all heard him admit to drugging her and telling her to say it before. Just like they all heard. They never talked to me. They only used drugs on me. None of this is funny. And just like they all heard, even the investigators, October 2020 from Ravenna, from we all know this woman's innocent. And FedEx, from we all know.
They told Aspen Dental Alliance a year ago they won't kill an innocent woman. They all know. Everybody knows. I go in and people look and it's not funny what's going on. Somebody went to call me a dirty word once and went, she's not, and it's not funny why they participated. Or it's my daughter. Her husband hates. He met her in Ravenna when she was having a stomach spouse from my daughter they did all this for. And our family watching are doing this. And for whose Karen's rich boyfriend but the state of Ohio who protects her. Memorial Day weekend 2019, Rukana, a white woman with an African American man, screaming out, retired Judge Pete's wife, Michelle's mother. Dragon can claim the life. And public hear them outside. They're not funny. And these people, children call them bastards in town. Three Saturdays ago, I was in Dollar General. In town, some little kid looked at him and said, those bastards really framed her before. She said, yeah. I told these people to stop saying stuff to her. Even now, that my other clients in the bar, you all heard that man admit to framing you. Nobody finds this funny. Nobody does. Except for the extreme occult people. They think it's funny killing people until they turn on them. 